almost everybody I told that to said, no, do not go. That thing is going to bomb. I was invited to come to Milan um, to meet Donatella Versace um, for a very strange reason. So I, I jokingly say that I, I've never been qualified for any of the jobs I've got. Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of Impact Talks. Today we have Stephen Kronkota with us. He's a former chief marketing and creative officer at companies like Versace, Warner Brothers, Sony Pictures, and so on. Please introduce yourself. Where can the people know you from? I am, as you mentioned, um, my career has been primarily in two industries, um, fashion and luxury in Europe and media and entertainment in the U.S. And some of those companies are Warner Brothers, uh, Sony Pictures, Versace, uh, Condé Nast uh, publications in New York. I knew I wanted to work in creative businesses. Um, so that's why I ended up in entertainment or fashion. How did you end up getting to some of these companies? Could you share some stories um, very early on in your career? I, I think you got to Warner Brothers. Yeah. How, how did you get in there? How did you achieve that? Well, I, I jokingly say that I've I've never been qualified for any of the jobs I've gotten. Um, I think in some cases, I, I know my interviews went, went well because I was definitely not the likeliest candidate for the job. And I um, was working with, at Condé Nast in New York, um, which is the company that, as, as I'm sure most of your listeners know, Condé Nast owns Vogue. Vanity Fair, Architectural Digest, GQ, Wired, et cetera, et cetera. We launched Details in New York. Details turned out to be one of the fastest growing new magazines. And to your question, you know, how did I end up at Warner Brothers? Well, I first, um, while we were at Details, I got a call from a headhunter to go meet Ted Turner um, in Atlanta. Ted was really a genius and a visionary and a pioneer in the television business. Um, a, a recruiter called me and asked if I would go out and meet Ted to talk about becoming the senior vice president, creative director of this new television channel called Cartoon Network. Ted's attitude, as other bosses in my career, their attitude has been, we can teach you this business. I got the job. I left Condé Nast. I was part of the launch team of Cartoon Network. After... I would say four, four and a half years, um, Warner Brothers came along and bought the company from Ted Turner. And I was talking to friends in New York and, you know, I've gotten offered, offered this job by Ted Turner and he wants to make a network that's all cartoons, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Almost everybody I told that to said, no, do not go. That thing is going to bomb. Um, because, really? well, until it happened, um, but you've got to believe in a, in a vision and a mission. Warner Brothers had the potential to take Cartoon Network from television into all those other categories and turn these things into lifestyle brands. And so that, um, soon after Warner Brothers bought the company from Ted, that became my job. Bring a skill set, a talent, the ability to solve problems, the ability to grow businesses, what the ability to have unusual ideas. But but you know, it, it it's very limiting to just say, and my career has been multi-industries. I never wanted to stay in one industry. The thing that makes it interesting for me is you really did not have any experience, but yet somehow you were interesting to be hired and, and then you somehow launched brands. So my question is like, how? how? Can you start with Detail Magazine and like how you started it? So I would say I have been very lucky not only to have um, great visionary bosses who hired me and nurtured me, but I've also had amazing peers, super talented peers. And I've also hired fantastic people who've worked for me, and a lot of them have gone on to have great careers of their own. And I would say being a mentor and a, and a boss to those people has been one of my biggest satisfactions. Like, what are, were the nitty gritties of, you know, first day on the job as, I, I'm assuming, launching this new brand as Detail Magazine? But, but before you get into the nitty gritty, I think I go back to just one thing, which is um, the vision 
So I think in, in details, you know, there's that old Apple ad, think different, think different, be different. So with Details Magazine, there was an editor, as I said, who coming from London, an editor and a creative director, both came from London, um, they wanted to show that they were for um, this new younger generation of people and they were a reflection of them. It was just um, more accessible, more authentic. You know, authentic is everything now. That your vision was being the exception to the rule. Yeah, being a rule breaker, being an icon. I mean, a lot of the brands, same with Cartoon Network. Our attitude, I mean, over Cartoon Network, we had a pirate flag flying. We always wanted to be, you know, we always wanted to zig when everybody else was zagging. Sometimes, you know, with Versace, in luxury, you know, when you're working with Donatella Versace, um, they do not do that. <laughs> um, they want to work with the most expensive photographers um, a, on something very high concept because in luxury, you are, you know, with fashion and perfume, you're selling a dream. How did you end up with Versace? Uh, we don't get many guests that are in the fashion industry. So luxury is a great business um, because rich people always have money. <laughs> like, However, in luxury, we love those people. <laughs> they are our customers. Um, actually, they're our clients. Um, I have always loved the fashion business. So part of the reason I always love the entertainment business, everything you're working on, everything you touch, every conversation you have, um, is about art and beauty and imagination. So that really speaks to me. Um, because I will say, even though I was able to jump into Milan and become chief marketing officer of Versace, that's an unusual move. I was invited to come to Milan um, to meet Donatella Versace um, for a very strange reason. Um, yeah, Versace had been looking for a chief marketing officer for a while, and she did not want somebody who'd worked at 50 other fashion brands. She is bold and a risk taker, um, and so she was willing to consider people outside of fashion. And sometimes this happens, you know, d never give up hope. Um, if, you, if you have your heart set on an industry, go for it. So Donatella saw my CV, and um, Details was her favorite magazine. Um, Cartoon Network was her and her kids, she's got two kids, um, her and her two kids' favorite TV channel to watch. And another network I worked on, E! Entertainment Television, was Donatella's favorite television channel. So um, she knew brands that I'd worked on. She loved brands that I'd worked on, three of them. She knew the work that I had done or the work we had done on those brands. And she found it and she felt there were all the things she wants her brand to stand for and that she is personally. Um, and so, um, and I was at E at the time. And even as I was almost boarding the plane to Milan, you know, my friends in LA were not believing it. It's like, uh-huh, yeah, you're going to Milan to meet yeah. Donatella Versace. <laughs> and I met the board of directors and I met, um, and I met the family. And I, they had me do presentations in my hotel room at night. And on my fourth or fifth day in Milan, um, they, she said to the lawyer, don't let him leave without signing a contract. I'm talking about all this kind of stuff because that's what smart business people want to talk about. And she decided, because I guess she and I clicked, but I guess because of the way I talked about brands, she liked the way I thought. You know, we can teach you the business, um, but we think you'll bring something added value to us, something we don't have. And I hope I did. So I took, I signed the contract. And that was how I ended up working with Donatella Versace for six and a half years as chief marketing officer. Um, a great privilege. And I guess that's that's as good a place as any to end my story yeah, for today. I agree. Also, I want to roll out the red carpet for you. Do you have anything to promote? Where can people find you? Can you share some stuff? Um, well, to your audience, I, I hope that I've been a little bit of a proof um, that you shouldn't give up hoping and trying to do um, what you dream of doing. 
um, the, the sorts of things like, well, you don't have the right qualifications or you're not this kind of person or you didn't study that kind of thing or you don't know this man or this woman. Um, oftentimes, it, it, it only takes someone who will give you a chance, um, take, a, take a chance on you. And your job is to make it feel to them like they're taking no chance at all. Um, that even though you weren't the person they thought they would fill the job with, um, you're a person they'd very much like to fill the job with. Um, because again, you're going to be bring something new and fresh. I've been told um, that people think I come across as passionate or enthusiastic. I think that's something you can never um, forget is your amount of excitement about something. I mean, don't act hysterical, <laughs> but everybody wants somebody who's going to be enthusiastic and positive um, sitting around the conference room table. So that's another another one of my secret weapons. But, but anyway, I hope I've been proof and evidence um, that you can get into whatever category you want to, be smart about it, um, plan your career path, and um, make people feel like you've got a lot to offer. And then and then give it to them and that and that's it thank you thank you very much i can be found on linkedin and it's been a pleasure yeah. thank you so much and on that note looking close thank you so much thank you very much bye bye if you like this episode you can check out our most recent one here and if you haven't already make sure you click here to subscribe and see the next one but if you're interested in more tips and tricks, then make sure to join our Facebook group where you can find thousands of like-minded people and you get direct access and support to any business question from the entire startup funding event team.